Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest trends with you for autumn 2022. So I've picked out those key trends and the patterns and fabrics you can use to sew them up in. All of the patterns and fabrics I mentioned today, they're all available on our lovely website and you'll find a link to our website and all of the products I mentioned below in the description. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. And if you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our other social media accounts. We're in all the usual places. So this is going to be a bumper packed video. I have got a lot of ideas. I think I've picked out five or six key trends um, but I've got lots of options within each of those trends for you so as a result I'm not going to run through the size charts with you I will mention the size range on the patterns but if you want the full details of the size chart just jump on click the link below to each of the patterns and it will take you through to the website where you'll find all the information that you need and just drop us an email if you need any further help as always. We're always happy to help. But let's get started with these gorgeous trends. I'm so inspired myself, I cannot wait to get sewing these. So the first one I want to share with you is very much a sort of preppy look. There was lots of um, preppy looking sort of shift dresses, um, skirts and jackets or mini skirts and um, really nice actually to see some more of these tailored looking designs coming back through. I think we've had lots of seasons now where we've had very bohemian voluminous um, dresses that are loose fitting and it was quite nice to see a bit of tailoring coming back through and personally I think this sort of preppy look you know you can go quite extreme on it and look very very preppy um, or you can go for the more wearable everyday versions and I think there's lots of things that are great for every day and perfect for autumn winter so um, the first one that I want to talk about that I took is just a simple slightly a-line or straight skirts. Now the look on the the looks on the high street were very much mini skirts but if you're not comfortable with that sort of length skirt just make it longer um, and also just remember thick black tights are your friend when it comes to mini skirts in winter in my opinion. Um, so my plan is to make McCall's 8051 which is a pattern I've made before I made a leather look version of the mini skirt but this pattern comes with five hem lengths. It's a really quick easy sew because there's not even a waistband on it. Um, it's got darts for shaping, there's optional belt loops and five lengths. So wherever you feel comfortable with your skirt you can go for that length and it runs in sizes 6 to 22 and the fabric I think would work brilliantly for that is this gorgeous Robert Kaufman Shetland flannel absolutely beautiful 100% cotton but because it's a flannel it's you know a heavier weight cotton it's got a lovely soft handle it really does it feels like a lovely brushed cotton or flannel as you can imagine so heavier weight than those lightweight cottons we use in the summer um, but lovely and silky soft to the touch and it's just got this cute little mini dog tooth design on it and I think for me um, just a simple slightly a-line skirt sewn up in that paired with the black turtleneck black tights and boots I would be wearing that all winter long so hopefully I'll get round to making it if you want to go a bit more into the trend and you want to go for a sort of preppy looking dress I saw some really gorgeous ones um, I'm looking at Simplicity 9466 which is a 1960s vintage pattern runs in sizes 6 to 24 and it's just the cutest little shift dress I think I ever saw it's just gorgeous um, so it crosses over at the front and buttons down with a little double breasted um, button down finish it's got a cute little collar and then there's options for short sleeves or sleeveless obviously during autumn winter I think we're going to go for the short sleeves and then you could put a jacket over the top or a cardigan perhaps and the fabric I chose for that is another gorgeous Robert Kaufman Shetland flannel 100% cotton again this one is a really pretty turquoise colour with a very um, subtle herringbone print on it so it almost makes it look textured and I think that would work beautifully for that dress 
And then there's another idea that I'd got for you or another pattern I wanted to share. There's so many on the website. These are just the few that I picked out. But you could also go for just a really classic simple shift dress if you used Simplicity 1609, which is another vintage pattern and runs in sizes 6 to 22. Um, just your classic simple sleeveless shift dress and then you could wear a, white, a crisp white shirt underneath it or you could wear a turtleneck underneath it for layering during winter. Um, there's some cute little options for bows and little Peter Pan style collars on this one as well and I thought that would sew it beautifully. I just wanted to show you another one of these gorgeous Robert Kaufman flannels. Um, this one isn't 100% cotton. Um, check the website for the full details oh, it's 95% cotton and then there is a bit of polyester in this 5% polyester um, but it's got this gorgeous speckle effect on it and it's this lovely plum colour really rich and warm um, perfect for this time of year absolutely gorgeous you can also make like cardigans and jumpers and things with these as well um, but any of those would work you could mix and match any of those fabrics and patterns and I think you would have that preppy look nailed so on to the next trend which is checked shirts so um something i haven't sort of thought about or seen for a while i mean we had jackets last year again that sort of mix between a shirt and a jacket very loose fitting um but this year the check shirts that i'm seeing coming through were much more fitted um, a lot of them had those pretty sort of ruffles and things that we've seen in recent years but were more fitted there were sort of western themed ones um, there were also some with like more exaggerated um, sort of larger collars and ruffles and that sort of thing and it was just some really fun takes on the classic check shirt and then you had just your more classic styles as well but I thought what a great trend how easy to wear is that with a pair of jeans it's just a nice smart casual look um, and will keep you lovely and warm during the winter so I got really excited about that one as well and I really want to get one of these done myself um, there's a couple of patterns that I've chosen for this look so the first one is McCall's 8284 which runs in sizes 6 to 24 this is one of their latest range and it's got a gorgeous couple of dresses and couple of blouses but all of the dresses and blouses have got different uh, there's two different collar options I thought collar option B for the blouse um, which is got a sort of a big sort of ruffle around the blouse looked a lot like some of the key trends I saw on the high street um, so I thought that would work really well and the fabric I chose I saw lots of sort of ready red hues um, when I was looking at this trend so the fabric I chose was this lovely brushed cotton um, which again is lovely and soft warm um, lighter weight than those flannels obviously um, but yeah, just absolutely perfect for this trend and yeah, it would be super easy to wear, lovely and cosy and warm. Um, so yeah, that was my choice for that one. And then I also thought the other thing you could do is just go for that really classic sort of um, check shirt look. And the pattern I chose for this is Burda 6326 which runs in sizes 8 to 18 and I would make the long sleeve version which is just a classic sort of shirt style. I always really like the look of the shape of this shirt pattern. I've never got around to making it but I've, I've looked at these quite a few times um, and something else has always just cropped up and got in the way. But it's got bust darts, it's got a single pocket, um, button down front and a little collar um, and I just think it would work brilliantly and be a really lovely easy to wear check shirt and we've got another one of these lovely brushed cottons that I picked out for that one um, which has got like a navy blue background it's got the red which was quite a key theme on the ones that I looked at again and just that paired with your favourite jeans dark indigo jeans and perhaps some tan leather boots I think would look great and be like a lovely easy comfortable style to wear every day so the next trend I wanted to share with you was midi and maxi length dresses. So again, seeing some more changes here, I felt that when I was doing my research, 
a lot of the trends were for more fitted silhouettes again. So in previous seasons, we've seen the really voluminous, loose fitting, um, I think they were referred to as buffet dresses on the sewing bee at one point, um, but meaning that you could eat what you liked at the buffet and you wouldn't have to worry because the dresses were so loose fitting. Well, it looks like a lot of the midi and maxi dresses this season, they're going back to a bit more of a fitted silhouette. Um, so the patterns I picked out, um, I saw sort of shirt dresses, I saw um, I saw quite a few with just a very simple crew neck or almost like slash neck or boat neck um, and just a ve very simple clean lines just sort of fitted through the bodice and then a gentle A-line skirt. So the pattern I picked out to recreate this look is Simplicity 9173 which runs in sizes 6 to 24 and this is another one I really like. This came out probably a couple of years ago, but I really think it ticks the boxes of this trend really well. It's just got that simple crew neck. It's got um, a seam that comes, a curved sort of high waist seam above the waist. And it looks like it's got some gathers under the bust. And then it's just got princess seams down a relatively straight skirt. I think there's three length options with this one. You've got sleeve options. You can go for a long sleeve, short sleeve or a flutter sleeve. But the one on the front of the packet, just the very simple um, long sleeve version with the boots, I just think is so bang on trend. Oh, it's gorgeous. The fabric I would use to sew this one up is this John Caldor Paris fabric. I saw some really nice brush stroke inspired um, fabrics on um, when I was doing my research and I thought this one in these lovely pinks and purple hues would look really nice. It is a very silky fabric um, so just be aware of that you know you might need to use your walking foot when you sew this one um, but yeah I think it would look beautiful sewn up into that dress but we've got lots of other fabrics as well. If the ones I haven't picked out don't float your boat just check out all the other ones on the site. And then the other dress I thought that sort of nailed this more fitted um, silhouette for the midi or maxi dress was the Style Arc Belle dress, which is one of their latest range. It's a beautiful button down front dress. Um, it's got like a cummerbund across the middle. Again, gathers under the bust, um, little yo shoulder yokes with gathers under there. Um, and then a midi or yeah midi length skirt with a slight A line buttoned down all the way down the front and then a couple of sleeve options. This one runs in sizes 4 to 22, oh 4 to 30 it says on here actually. Yeah just check the size on the website as I said all the sizes are on the website so just double check that one. Um, but yeah a really beautiful dress the bell dress I really want to get around to making that and the fabric I chose for it is this gorgeous Lena um, McElroy crepe fabric which is like a sort of um, French navy with a black animal print design on it and I've made a maxi skirt in this base cloth before it was a different print um, but it is really beautiful to wear it's a lovely weight it's got lovely movement and drape it's just absolutely gorgeous I love the colorway as well um, especially for autumn winter just really oh, gorgeous so yeah that's my choice for that one now the next trend I want to share with you, again, is quite new. I don't think we've seen anything like this in recent years. I mean, always, I know somebody will say, when I, you know, in the 1970s we were making this and that, obviously some of the trends come back, but when I say it's new, I mean it hasn't been around in just the last few years. Um, I saw lots and lots of leather, or lots of people are using leather look fabric now rather than actual leather. Um, and yeah, the, the the very strong trend that came through, there were some sort of leather mini skirts. I saw a beautiful short leather dress with cut work on it. Oh, it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, but a lot of the trends that I saw were for A-line midi length leather skirts. Um, and these were paired with turtlenecks, chunky jumpers, shirts, 
Um, so quite a few different looks, but lots and lots of midi length sort of A-line um, leather skirts. And I just thought they looked really chic. I thought, um, yeah, easy to wear with boots and a jumper or a shirt, you know, dress it up or dress it down. Um, I just really like the look of this trend. And we've got the perfect fabric and I've picked out some patterns that I think would be perfect as well. So the first pattern I've picked out is Butterick 6866. It's a gentle A-line, midi length skirt. It's got princess seams down the front and the back. It's sort of, it's not A-line, I'd say it's slightly flared. Um, you can do it with or without a waistband by the looks of it. So you can make it lovely and simple, um, which is nice when you're working with a leather look fabric. Um, I would recommend lining it so you can wear it with tights. And we've got some really good anti-static lining you could use actually. I'll try and remember to link that below. Um, but yeah, I think this would be a brilliant option for this sort of midi length um, leather skirt look. And the other option I wanted to share with you is Vogue 1850. So this one, some of them had sort of, some of the trends I saw had sort of like seam lines going across the skirts and just a bit more detail. Others were very, very simple like the one I've just shown you. But this Vogue pattern came out fairly recently and this has got some interesting design details. It's got some pleats across the front um, and then it's got a, a waistband that sort of crosses over at the front um, and it's suggested for leather look fabrics as well as other fabric types. It runs in sizes 8 to 24. It's a wrap over skirt and I thought this would be a lot of fun to sew but also would nail that trend really really well. Um, I'll try and remember to pop some a link to tips for sewing with leather look fabrics below. Um, things like using little fabric clips, which we stock on the website, I'll link below, rather than pins so you don't mark your fabric. Um, using a Teflon foot if you can, we stock those for most makes and models of machine, and that just makes you things sew through more easily. But there's lots and lots of other tips that I um, shared, like to do with getting really good finish on your darts as well, which I did on my skirt that I made. So I'll try and remember to pop a link to that below for you but the fabric I'm going to recommend for those two patterns is the one that I use to make my leather look skirt and I know a lady who made some leather look trousers with this fabric as well and absolutely loved it um, and here it is so it's not real leather it's leather look it's got this embossed print on it um, and as you can see it's not super stiff it has got good movement in it and then it's got this nice sort of warm um, finish on the other side um, so yeah that just worked beautifully for that skirt and yep yeah, I'd love to make another one with that I'd love to actually remake that skirt that I made um, in fact I used the McCall's pattern 805 one I showed you at the start of the video um, it was sort of fairly early on in my sewing career and I think I was being a bit impatient and I didn't line it um, I just wanted to just get it made and get it done um, you know and you learn you learn from uh, your mistakes don't you as you, you know you learn to be more patient and I think uh, because it's such a quick easy simple sew I'm quite tempted to make it up again but just to add a lining this time it comes with facing so all you'd need to do um, well you wouldn't even need to lengthen your facings actually you just cut out the skirt at the second time in your lining fabric and just join it at the waist there's no waistband so it'd be really easy to do um, but yeah I think that would let nail that leather trend and if you're brave maybe go ahead and make one of the gorgeous dresses that I saw as well lovely fitted dresses um, but that's that one and then the next trend I wanted to share with you was whereas the midi and maxi length dresses definitely coming through with lots more fitted silhouettes we're still seeing those looser fitting silhouettes in the shorter dresses and that's a look I really like as well so um, sort of smock style shorter dresses ruffles pretty collars um, ruffle hems that sort of thing um, and just lovely and sort of dark floral fabrics paired with you your tights and your boots what a great look for autumn winter nice and easy to wear layer up with a cardigan or a leather jacket um, and yeah it was just nice to see some of those looser fitting designs still there but with the shorter hem length which kind of like balances things out quite nicely I think 
and we've had a couple of patterns come out recently that I really want to make um, for this trend. So the first one is McCall's 8285, which is a shirt dress, um, but there is a short version which has got um, a ruffled, a sort of tiered skirt, a single tiered skirt. It's got a cute little collar, um, yokes with gathers, and long sleeves that are gathered into a cuff. It runs in sizes extra small to extra, extra large. Um, and it just looks like a really cute little short dress, which I would like to sew up in our Hermione fabric, which is a John Caldor, in this gorgeous mustard colorway. I'm a bit of a sucker for mustard in the autumn. I do really love this, this color. Um, and yeah, I just think that would look gorgeous paired with my tights and my leather jacket. So that would be my choice for that one. And then the other pattern we've got to give a mention is the latest Tilly and the Button, which is the Marnie blouse and mini dress. This would be absolutely perfect for nailing this trend. It's got princess seams, gentle gathering under the yokes, undulating tucks on the front yoke and sleeve. So a nice sewing technique to learn there. I've seen quite a few videos of them demonstrating it and it looks so therapeutic. Um, it's got a round neck finish with bias binding, optional ruffle collar, optional shoulder ruffles for extra drama. Um, T length piece, le full length bishop sleeves with elasticated hem, keyhole back opening with button and loop and you can mix and match all these different options if some of them look a bit too puffy and fluffy and whatever for you, you can pair it back and just choose one of the options you know there's lots of things you can do with this pattern as there always is with the Tilly patterns it runs in sizes 6 to 34 and the fabric I thought would be perfect for this one is this gorgeous gorgeous John Caldor Fernando Viscose fabric in this pretty ditzy design got these gorgeous mustard and rust coloured flowers on it on the black or dark background I think that would really brighten up any autumn winter day and would look beautiful sewn up into the dress version of the Marnie and then finally I just wanted to share I'm still seeing a lot of the statement collar blouses out there and this is something I haven't made yet and I really want to because I, I love this look and I think it's one of those I think it's a bit of a Marmite look I think there are people who just think oh not for me um, but personally I really like it and I've seen some lovely lovely versions out there um, so the sort of statement collar with a little ruffle around it but there's also more paired back versions again of these blouses with just a simple ruffle collar um, that just comes round the neck like so rather than it being the big oversized collar with ruffles round it just having like a stand up ruffle coming round the neckline of the blouse um, so lots of options and personally I just find blouses so so useful in autumn winter um, just to wear with my jeans and a cardigan like today funnily enough I'm wearing a McCall's blouse today that's one of my old favourites um, yeah just find it a nice look and just I get a bit bored of wearing jumpers in the winter because I just feel like I'm wearing the same thing all the time if I put a blouse and a cardigan on I feel like I can mix things up a bit more um but the patterns I chose for this look first of all the patina blouse by the Friday Pattern Company which comes in sizes extra small to 7x so again size charts are all on our site you can check those out um, but it's a lovely pattern with um, that lovely sort of statement collar a very pointed long collar it's not enormous so if you are someone who's a bit like oh I'm not sure if that's for me um, this seems a bit more sort of uh, it's not majorly majorly oversized um, the sleeves have got cute little gathers on the shoulder um, gathered into a little cuff you can make a short sleeve version long sleeve version it's a button down really pretty and the fabric I chose for this one was our gorgeous peach skin fabric um, which is really reasonably priced but it's really lovely quality it's got a gorgeous sheen to it and as you would expect a lovely soft handle as well hence the name peach skin so we do it in a range of colors there's lots of different colors to choose from i picked out this beautiful green it's like a sort of i'd call that probably like a forest green um i just thought that would look really really nice sewn up into the patina blouse 
and then I also chose for this trend if you're not someone who's into those big oversized collars and there's loads of other patterns on the site for, for that that option um, but if you're someone who wants to think a bit more subtle the Francesca Woven shirt which is a relatively new release from Style Arc um, is a really good version it's got darts that come up from the waist to the bust it's a button down front and then it's just got that standard ruffle round the neckline simple sleeves into a cuff um, there's darts in the sleeves for a bit of movement and also fish darts at the back to give you a bit of shape really lovely pattern desperately want to make this one myself we've got cotton linen mixed fabrics if you're more into like your linens and stuff like that and they come in a range of colors they'd be suitable for these patterns as well but again i chose the peach skin for the francesca blouse in this gorgeous sort of um deep red color really really pretty and i think that would work brilliantly so i'm conscious that was a long one today guys but hopefully you enjoyed it as much as i did i'm absolutely bursting with enthusiasm now and inspiration to get sewing for autumn as I said at the start of the video, all the things I include today, they're all available on our website. So do jump on, check out the description below where all the links to all the products are. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.